Terenzo Quinn. Defensive backs coach and defensive passing game coordinator, Terenzo Quinn. Coach Quinn, um, Coach was just talking how Alabama and Eminem's putting up a lot of points. And I guess for you, what have, what have you seen that uh, that they do, that they're doing well, and like how you guys have been playing the first half? And, you know, just some of your thoughts on just, you know, that matchup and how you guys plan to attack it. I think they, they, they do a great job. Uh, they run the ball well. They throw the ball well. Uh, most of the time when they run this versus light box, when they throw in the ball, it's one on one situation. So, uh, it's going to be a matchup. We just got to win our one-on-ones. Uh, we will be prepared, though. What do you look for coming off a of bye week and uh, to see from the guys when you guys are finally getting back to action here? Uh, to see how much they retain from the bye week. You know, we use the bye week to get ahead as far as the film study, uh, to hone in you know, on, the, on the tendencies of the offense and uh, see how much they retain from, from a week ago. Uh, just got to be more consistent. Uh, there were some games where we, we allowed some vertical football. There were some games where we showed that we cable to playing on a high level. Uh, so we just got to be more consistent. What are those aspects of the game that could be more consistent? Like what, what are those factors that, that you look for in a game? Uh, paying attention to detail. Um, you know, having offense coordinator experience, I'm big on details. How they align, splits. Backfield sets. We just got to make sure we locked in on them details. It tells us something. We got to make sure we, we can respond in a positive way. What's impressed you so far from what you have seen, even though it's always room for improvement? Uh, the rotation. We're playing 10 guys on the back end right now. That's almost unheard of. Uh, it's 10 guys I feel real good about as far as uh, playing high reps. I tell them we shake, put them in the can, shake their name out. Whoever name come out, you know, as we go in, and uh, it's it been effective. Is that kind of like a mentality thing with the guys? You know, because a lot of times, you know, when they're rotating, it's just kind of you always say next man up. In this case, it's everyone at, at one. We got a lot of talent on the back end, uh, so it start with me being comfortable with them guys rotating in, and uh, I feel real good about at least ten of them. Um, real good. Talk about the chess match going against Coach Maynard, who's been coaching a long time, offensive guy. You coached against him a lot in the last few years. The chess matchup, what he <laughs> likes to do in terms of what we want to try to take away. Uh, we we got to be good at empty. Uh, they're going to be physical when they get in other personnel grouping, but empty is the one that kind of stand out. They throw the ball around, got some great wide outs on the edge, great wide outs in space. So we just we got to win that one-on-one back matchups in the empty personnel group. As a coach, and like you said, with 10 guys rotating in, everyone's going to, you know, uh, get some run. Is it exciting to face a team that likes to throw the ball around, knowing that you guys are going to have an impact on the game? Oh, yeah. You know, we find out who have the high hand early. You know, who locked in, who ready to play football. And when we find that group, we'll, we'll stay with that rotation. What's your thoughts on Quincy Casey? Great quarterback. Uh, made some great uh, throws. Can make every throw. Uh, so I'm excited to see, see him this week. I know he's going to be excited to be back in Jackson. Do it. Coach Wayne, thank you. Appreciate it.